Today I'm going to be setting up my crank fire ignition system. It's a CB performance system. It eliminates the distributor on my motor and uses a pickup off the crankshaft. I'm going to set up the two-stage rev limiter. Right now I just have the wire loose that will actually activate it based off a line lock or off of a switch and I'm just grounding it to the battery to turn it on. The settings that I'm starting with are a force timing setting of 3000 RPMs and the timing is at 28 degrees in the setting. I'm a little confused as to why this is any factor at all because I still have it set to actually fire off the spark map. I started out this test at 4500 RPMs just because it was, wasn't as loud to try to get it set up. I normally was launching at about 6200. 6, what follows is basically me running the car up at different settings and you can see how it will either overshoot or it will actually stall out the motor um, and start misfiring and pull the RPMs back. We'll start the car, set the rev limiter and see what we get. I set it up to 5,000 RPMs initially and it actually seemed to work correctly or a lot better when I put the force timing in at 5,000 RPMs and I reduced the timing to 20 degrees um, advance on the force timing setting. So I'll play with it some more but at least I have it so that it's holding an RPM relatively well. Hopefully you enjoyed watching 